Hi everyone, this is a short video to talk you through how to log on and use Purple Mesh. Some of you have been sent login details from your teachers. We are going to trial this as a new way of learning at home. Now, you should all have received a Purple Mesh login card and on it will be your username and that's usually associated with your name and then a password which is a digit password and some of you have a two digit, some have a three and some have a four digit code. So what you need to do is go onto Google and type in Purple Mesh and this screen will come up. Now some of you have been trying to use devices, handheld devices and phones and that's fine because it does work but this will be the screen that you get at first. To be able to move further you need to click continue to site and then it will take you to the desktop same as what is on the computer screen. Now once you are on this screen the first job is to go to find my school's login page. Now on here there are lots and lots of schools so you just need to type in Cross Hill. There we go and we've come up there and you click on the link. Once you've clicked on the link it'll come up with the school's name and address. Click on go to school portal and that will take us to our area. Now this is where you type in your details from your login code that you have been sent. I can't log on as any of the pupils at the moment so my son Oliver has very kindly let me use his. So if we look at his profile, so this is his school up here, you will have Cross Hill. He's got his, we've put his login details in there and we've clicked login. Now you're up and running, this is a screen that everybody should be able to see. Let me point out the red tab up here. These are your to-dos and teachers will have set you tasks on these to-dos. So if we click on that, these are all the to-dos that Oliver has been set for this week. To do each of the tasks, all you need to do is click on start. Some of them will be quizzes, some of them will be games, some of them you might need to do a little bit of reading or watch some videos, but they are all quite self-explanatory. Once you have completed the task, the Purple Mesh program will automatically save what you have done. So all your teacher, teachers can access that at any time. Now, one other thing, are you sure you want to access the program? Okay. One other thing that I just want to point out is when you are on the homepage, there are lots and lots of things that you can do. There's games, there's arts and crafts, there's computing activities to do. Have a go, have a play around and see what you can do. Um, when we go on, if you click on games, just scroll through and they give you different levels that you can have a go at. One of the things, whoops, one of the things that I would like you to have a play around with is under homes and it is under, if you go on to English, you can create your own stories, you can create your own pictures and posters. There is lots and lots of opportunities. Now, when you click on creating your own story, I want you to have a go at playing around. Click on all the different tabs, see what they do and see what you can come up with. When you come off an activity like this, you must save and exit and it will save it to your login details so the next time you can go on you will automatically be able to go back to the story that you have created so if there is a problem with anything please email one of your teachers and we will get back to you i hope this helps thank you